We're following good news from St. Mary's Hospital in London. The Duchess of Cambridge has just given birth to her third child, and it's a boy, eight pounds, seven ounces. That's a good size. Prince William, of course, was present for the birth of his son. Both mother and baby are doing very well, we're told. This royal birth comes ahead of the upcoming wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The photographer who snapped this engagement photo will be back behind the lens for the wedding. We met Alexei Lembersky before he was officially asked to document the May 19th nuptials. He told us about getting the call he never expected. Let's go back to, you pick up the phone, they say it's Kensington Palace calling. Had you had any dealings with Kensington Palace? Were you thinking, why are they calling me? That was probably a first. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you had had no dealings with Kensington no, Palace nothing, whatsoever. No, no, no. So was... how did they even know to call you? I have no idea. A mutual friend suggested Prince Harry and Meghan Markle check out Alexei Lubomirsky's Instagram. Yes, beautiful that too. Where the fashion photographer posts his work with some of the world's most famous faces. You've shot Angelina Jolie. You've shot Julia Roberts. You come with a lot of credibility. Yeah. And you're very good at what you do. Thank you. Lubomirsky, who lives in New York City, was in London at the time visiting his mother, who was undergoing surgery. The operation was a success, and so was his hastily arranged meeting with the newly engaged and soon-to-be royal couple. It was very wonderful to get that instantaneous read on them, because, you know, love is... When you see young love, or yeah. any, any love, when it, in, in its, in its uh, genesis stage, it's the most beautiful thing to see. And, I agree. And I'm a cheese ball, so I love that kind Me of Me too. So, uh... I love love. Love I, love. I, I do, I do. <laughs> Ready, here we go. Love that hair. Luba Mirsky sometimes works in the okay, small yeah. South African nation of Botswana. That's where he was raised. Great. The country is a favorite getaway for Prince Harry and the place he took Meghan Markle on their very first vacation. Yeah, gorgeous. And like Harry, the photographer is also a prince. Tell us how you're a prince. My father is a Polish prince, and um, I was told about it when I was 11. His mom confirmed the news, adding he had the title, but little else. She very quickly doused my flames of excitement by saying, listen, there's no more... There's no more lands, there's no more palaces, castles, <laughs> riches, arts, armies, whatever. You, you just have a name, Prince. You just have a name. Yes. So very naively, I said to her, well, what's, what's the point of the title then? <laughs> and she said this phrase to me, which has stuck with me forever, and I always thank my mother for this. She said, if you want to be a prince in today's world, you have to be a prince in your heart and in your actions. You've got to go to class, you've got to learn, quickly. The actions of His Serene Highness, yep, that's his actual title, include working to improve the lives of the impoverished as an ambassador for the charity Concern Worldwide. It's a dedication to philanthropy shared by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who he first photographed at Windsor Castle for their official engagement photos. Now, this was my favorite. I do think that there's such a tender intimacy here. Her eyes are closed, and he's clearly looking at her. Do you remember what happened in this moment? It was just a beautiful... That was the last shot of the day. You know, he had this big overcoat on, and I said, just... just you know, wrap her up. Mm -hmm. and, and then she turned around to him, and there was this beautiful moment, and they were just, they were hugging and looking at each other and smiling. And but you know what I like about it, Alexi? I feel like we were capturing a moment between the two of them. I feel like we captured a real intimate, quick moment into their lives. What were your impressions of them both? Just lovely, young, normal people, you know, mm -hmm. just... Uh, normal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I believe that. Yeah, they're just, uh, they're very welcoming. They're very gracious. You feel listened to mm -hmm. when they're talking to you. Mm -hmm. So really just good, good people. Alexei Lubomirsky. He's a great guy, too. Oh, I he... think he's very handsome. He's also very talented. But imagine when we talked to him, he had not gotten the royal assignment to do the wedding. Oh, he had wow. only gotten the engagement pictures. And I said, do you think you're going to get the job? He goes, I have no idea. Probably not. I, I had a very short interaction with him. And then he got the call a couple of weeks ago. So I'm thrilled for him. He, he yeah. Well, he did so job. well on the first gig. Yeah. yeah. That, well. that you bond so quickly. They clearly liked him. A great photographer can capture what someone's really like. Like, you yes. know, and I think he did that, those, just like you said, those very intimate moments. Does it very well. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring you live coverage of the royal wedding next month. We're going back. It's Saturday, May 19th, starting at 4 a.m. Eastern. That's 3 Central, right here on CBS.